Capricorn. How are you? It's me, Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Capricorn from January 15th to the 31st. The dates are purely for organizational purposes. As always, my readings are timeless. When you get here is when I trust you are meant to be here. So Capricorn, I've used a combination of the Muse Tarot and the Light Sears Tarot mixed together for your spread today. So you're going to see both of them come out. There's a little bit of a adjustment or a fine tuning that seems to be coming in for you over this next little stretch of time that initially you may feel a little resistant to but I think in the long run it is going to pay off for you to be a little bit flexible and adaptable at this time. Let's pray as we do and then we'll start digging into this message a little bit. Very good. Very good. Father God, thank you for bringing me and my Capricorns in for this reading. I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for Capricorn's highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you. We love you. We thank you always. We give you all the glory and the honor for these messages to the utmost high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, Cap, we're starting your reading off with the Nine of Pentacles, which is a really beautiful place to start. It feels like you're pretty busy, like you're kind of in your own little world, you're working, you got all this stuff kind of cooking up. Now, it feels like this bird is coming forward and he's handing you this pentacle. It, perhaps it's, he's handing you this download and it has to do, oh, Lord in heaven, are you all right? Are you okay? Have you been injured? Everybody be cool. Everybody be cool. So it has to do with this jet of emotions. It has to do with community. Also, what seems to be coming through is this kind of this pentacle, this nugget, this download that seems to be hitting you. It also seems to be hitting a lot of other people at the same time. Other people within your own sort of sub collective. Everyone's getting um, the same message, probably likely like at the same time as well. It feels kind of synchronized. Now, there's something interesting going on here because this is where I initially feel a little bit of the resistance because the two of emotions comes out. And part of what this pentacle, this download is talking to all of you about, it's about coming together. It's about connection. Now, that is where I start feeling a little bit of resistance from you because what I notice is you have this cauldron in the back. And it's got this one big green pentacle in it. And so it feels as though, Cancer, you are spending the majority of your time or the majority of your focus is on cooking up. It's on creating something that is very specific. It's something that is very particular. And you might be perceiving this message about the others coming together, all of that as a distraction. Do you hear, do you hear the dogs? Do you hear that they're starting to like... And it's funny because all the dogs... There's all there's two dogs at, at the neighbor's yard. There's Ginger, the original queen of chaos in my yard. And they're coming together and they're barking and it's like they're having a good time. But I find it particularly distracting. So you might be thinking the same thing. Like I'm going to come together and it's just going to be kind of loud. It's going to be noisy. It's going to be a distraction from this thing that I've already been working on. I put a lot of time and effort into this thing. Like I don't really know if I want to if I want to go into the yard and sort of connect with all of these people. Now, the nine of emotions and the ace of wands is coming out as well. And so this also brings up the idea of you are all kind of getting this message and you might be getting it all intuitively. It might be at the moment where you're all sort of unintentionally meditating at the same time. It feels like they are just as busy as you as well because they are focusing on keeping all of these items around them levitating, keeping them in balance, keeping them in harmony within the field. And so if you are having that concern of, I get this download, I feel this like guidance or this pull forward to like go connect with other people, but I don't really want to take my eyes off of like this green pentacle that I'm cooking up in this pot. The others feel exactly the same way. So don't, don't worry about it. But this Ace of Wands is like a call to action. You are all getting this call to action to come together, even just energetically, but it does feel kind of physically, even if it's digitally, sort of like as a group. 
It's almost the idea of it, if it, it will come in intuitively and if you ignore it, it will start showing up in your meditations. And if you continue to ignore it, it will start kind of showing up in your dreams. Um, it, Aries had a little bit of this energy as well. It's like, if it must be done, it, it's going to start filtering into everyone um, in all aspects of their lives. Now, the five of pentacles and the seven of voices comes up next. And this is that feeling of kind of sacrifice. This is kind of what you and maybe even the others are a little bit worried about as well. What if this is a distraction? What if this is a trick? What if this is going to cause some kind of loss in my life? And again, it has to do with this nine of pentacles. Whatever it is that you're doing and you're working on Capricorn, it feels like it takes up a lot of your time. It feels like it takes up the majority of your focus. It's like this one big thing that you do, that you create, and I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose momentum on it if I step away from it. But part of the guidance that seems to be coming in is this temperance in reverse and the eight of wands. So spirit seems to be coming in and saying, Capricorn, the thing that you might not be realizing is that this huge pentacle taking up all the room in this pot is unbalanced. What you're cooking up is a little bit unbalanced and you might be saying how is that possible like I don't understand and I didn't fully understand it to begin with um but it's the idea of there's only one ingredient in here like imagine if you made a dish that was just chicken there was no spices there was no side dishes it's just plain chicken It'll get the job done, but it, it might like lack a, a little bit of, you know, of a, a little je ne sais quoi. We, we got to add some other ingredients in here. It's that kind of energy. Because when I pulled the seven of voices and the five of pentacles, I thought about it. I was like, but will you really lose this green pentacle? Well, this big thing that you've been focusing a lot of your energy on, is that just going to go away? And it felt like, no, it just feels like spirit is trying to like, let you know that it is, it needs variety. Like it needs more flavors. It needs more spices. It can't be just this. And you might not have realized that, that it was kind of starting to move a little bit out of balance or it was kind of one noted. Yeah. It's like one toned or one noted because you've been kind of hyper fixated or focused on this one thing because the eight of wand is coming up we're just talking about communication and it's talking about momentum but particularly in this card if you notice there are all of these wands but there's sort of this missing spot here and again it's like there's something missing from whatever it is that you're working on capricorn it's taken up so much of your time you're loving it you're enjoying you're in your own happy little world creating this thing and that's amazing but because you're so um, focused on the picture, sometimes you have to step back from that canvas a little bit and realize that it needs like a little bit more color. It needs something else. And so I don't see you taking this information super well because the magician and then the five of cups comes up next. And so it's almost the idea of you going, what do you mean that it's missing something? Like it's, it's like, this is something that I have poured blood, sweat and tears. I've been working really diligently on this. The nine of pentacles is also a deeply independent number. So it's even the sense of like, I separated myself from a lot of things. I cut out a lot of things. Like I very intentionally devoted this time to manifesting, to creating this thing. I've poured a lot of my energy into it. And you're telling me to like, just throw it down the drain that it's a loss, that like, I didn't do a good job. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm feeling when I hear that. And Capricorn, you are a perfectionist. You like to do things in an orderly way. When you're locked into something, you will give all of yourself into it. So the fact that there's like guidance or a message coming in saying, hey, this thing might need a little fine tuning or it's a little bit one noted. It's a little bit, it's lacking a, a balancing, right? It's like salty and sweet um savory and and spicy it's like you're saying that it's missing something after everything like it just feels a, like a little bit offensive to you it's kind of insulting it's not meant to come forward that way though um but I understand that because again you are a perfectionist so to pour a lot of time and energy into something just for a message or some kind of guidance to come in and going 
eh, like you might have overdone it, you know, with, with the peas. We might need to add a little onion in here. You're like, holy crap. But the King of Pentacles is coming up next, which is one, making me feel like Spirit is saying, Capricorn, ground yourself. Step back from the canvas a little bit, right? Some of this might even just have to be your approach. Like this could very easily relate to you neglecting other aspects of your life in the pursuit of like this one goal or this one project. This King of Pentacles is coming forward saying, Capricorn, keep wanting to call you Cancer, um, is saying, Capricorn, step back from the canvas a little bit. Ground yourself. Take your pentacle. Take your pentacle and just kind of sit with it for a second. And you see how it kind of starts to giggle? It's almost a, whoa, like I, I realized maybe I was being a little too strict with this one idea. Maybe it is a little bit one noted. It's kind of, it's really big. It takes up the whole pot. You're like, maybe I did lose a little bit of perspective. Like maybe I do need to connect with some people, right? And again, there does seem to be this message about you're not the only one, that this message is coming in for a lot of people at the same time and you're kind of meant to come together and like share your experiences or like learn from each other there's something about that with this two of emotions and what i'm feeling is one there may be another color or another spice or another approach or idea that comes in for you because you're stepping back allowing that that pot to kind of simmer and pulling in some new ideas or some ingredients from other people through your exchanges whether it's in your real life whether it's online whether you're you know watching a ted talk or going on someone's live stream it feels like you are like receiving another wand like a missing piece a perspective or an idea that like you just haven't gotten around to yet and it's coming from the others i'm also wondering Capricorn if there's a part of you that if this missing link this other spice this other element that wants to be added into what you are trying to manifest what you are trying to produce it's something that will arise from within you naturally when you come together with other people it's almost when you were left in your own energy for too long you become a little one noted like your melody can become a little flat and because when we connect with other people, when we have interesting conversations, when we're learning new things, we're pulling in perspectives that we've never thought about, it brings up new energies in us. I said this in someone else's reading. And, and I said that sometimes you don't know how you feel about something until someone asks you what your opinion on it is, right? Because it's not in a question that um, kind of circulates in, in your normal thoughts throughout the day. And then someone brings up an interesting point or asks you a question you never thought about. And then, whoo. I never thought about that. I guess that's how I feel. And now there's a new aspect of you that is revealed to you through your connection with other people, right? Um, it's like when you think that you're shy uh, because you spend a lot of time by yourself, at, but then all of a sudden you get thrown in front of people and turns out you're a great conversationalist. And like that's a part of you that you might not have uh, fully recognized had you not been in connection with others. So it could be Again, a piece of information or approach, um, an interesting idea that comes from someone else. But it can also be an aspect that is coming from within you that is finally being expressed um, because it's just naturally, organically presenting itself because of this connection that you are making space for, for other people. It just feels like a lot of your time and energy has been on doing this one thing a certain way. And there's another way. You're not being asked to give it up. It's just um, a, a new aspect of you wants to come forward, which will naturally kind of create um, another dimension to whatever it is you're already working on. Now, the night of inspiration comes up next and it comes out a little bit in reverse and so one I think this is just kind of going back to some of that resistance that we were talking about before about um not being defensive you might think is uh if you connect with other people you start sharing ideas they might take your idea or um they might have too big of an impact on what it is you're working on and then again the whole thing is kind of gone to shit and now you got to start from scratch it's not any of that it's not asking you just not to be impulsive or allow yourself to be triggered 
um, in that way. But instead, with this Eight of Pentacles, like really kind of sit down and allow yourself to learn something new about you. Learn something new in general. There may be other people that are creating something similar to you. And the way they're going about it is completely different than the way you are. It might not be how you want to implement those changes, but it might be just an interesting perspective for you to really think about. Part of this connection, like the best way I can describe it, it's almost like when someone is trying to create a product for the market, but they don't take into consideration the consumer. Like they have a good idea. They think it's interesting. They think it will be successful, but they're not in contact with the people that would actually be buying it. And if they were, they would have these different ideas and perspectives about what those people actually need, what they're looking for, what is interesting for them, what makes them want to buy a product. It's like creating something without market research is sort of the best way that I can describe it. And when you connect with other people, particularly other people that are also in your field and doing something um, that is similar to what you're doing, but in a very different way, it just gives you more information. It gives you data. It just really kind of widens your perspective. And again, it allows these other parts of you that previously you might not have been giving enough airtime to, to really come to the surface because the page of wands comes up next. And so there's something that is actually very energizing about it. What originally you were resistant to and then kind of worried about and immediately or very shortly after, you find it to be very life-giving, very inspiring. The way you are using your energy is in a totally new way because you you are back into a page stage, right? Um, and there also is something kind of full circle, full circle. It's like you have productivity, um, you have um, like stamina, like you have all that stuff, but there's something about innovation, and part of the coming together with other people, new aspects coming up about yourself, market research, it's all about innovation. There's a creative, innovative part of you that wants to come forward. And that is how you're going to come full circle with your product, with your manifestation, with these things that you're trying to build. It needs like a new youthful energy. The energy, again, it was a little, it was becoming stale. It was becoming um, one noted. We needed to, we needed to zhuzh it up a little bit because then you have the awakening card coming up and it's like, I can see clearly now, like the, the rain is gone. It's this big awakening. It's this big realization of, oh, I didn't realize that I was um, almost creating stagnancy. It hadn't hit yet, but it's like, I can see how going the way I was going I was denying myself um, access to a new creative force. This is something that was going to be really eye-catching and, and interesting to me, um, whether it's something specific you're working on or whether it's just your life, right? Um, by neglecting certain aspects of your life um, in lieu of focusing so much attention in one area. It's just this big realization. It's similar to like this King of Pentacles, you kind of stepping back from the canvas and going, oh, well, yeah, maybe I could I could use a few more brush strokes over there. I didn't really notice that when I was there, but it, it's that sort of energy, right? Because the four of pentacles comes out in reverse next. And again, part of this realization is, oh, I really had to surrender. I really had to allow myself to be a little bit flexible. I didn't really understand the guidance. Honestly, the guidance kind of triggered me a little bit. It made me a little bit scared, but I realized that it was just to help me do what I'm already doing better to cook up what I'm already cooking um, in a more interesting or unique way. I see that what has been coming in has been to give me more energy and more excitement and breathe a new type of energy or life into what I'm already doing. I'm not being asked to surrender my, my green pinnacle in my pot. I'm just being asked to add in a few more spices because I think it'll taste better too. Because the last card in your reading is the Queen of Pentacles, which is the same for me as this Nine of Pentacles, but it's it's more mature. It's an upgraded version of the energy. It's also unique. There's a unique expression here. So again, it's all coming down to you doing what it is you were already doing, but better with more energy, it's more interesting, it tastes good, it tastes better to you, and it tastes better to everyone else. It's all good stuff. But initially, you're like, I don't know, 
<laughs> but we all come around. Again, we come back. We come back full circle. An old dog can still learn new tricks, even in Capricorn. So, Cappy, this is what I have for you. I am going to go do an extended reading for you. If you're interested in your extended reading or your monthly reading for January, those will be the top two links in the description box. Um, I do offer personal services. You can book with me down below. And if you feel so guided, feel free to come over and check us out on Patreon. We have a beautiful Patreon family that we are growing. I'm very proud of that. I love you very much. Um, happy, happy creating. If this is where I leave you until next time, if you need me, you know where to find me. Goodbye.